welcome back friends we are talking about developmental biology especially we are talking about now the drosophila developmental biology because remember the drosophila developmental biology is a perfect combination of the use of different genetic expression during the developmental stages now in this video we are going to focus on a very important part of insect uh, developmental biology and that is the modularity modularity okay modularity or the module formation in insect body because the most important part of any insect body is it is made up of different segments head then thoracic segment then the abdominal segment so three different segments are formed in the insect body so modularity is a very unique feature of an insect body not only insect body actually it's a uh, very important feature of an arthropod bo bo body we can say arthropod body so it's a very important feature of arthropod body now the arthropod body can be divided into three different segments now those three segments are head segment thoracic uh, segment and abdominal segment head thoracic and abdomen so arthropod body can be divided into three different segments now there are different types of arthropods so if we look for the division the arthropod can be divided into two different part and among the arthropod arthropod we are having a very important and common member which is which are insects now we know that insects are very very common member of arthropod and very very popular member because they present in huge amount Uh, and they they contribute to the, to the population the world population of animals in huge amount actually okay now let's look at this insect body and this arthropod body that is divided into different segments now during the development and procedure of this uh, different arthropods uh, this kind of segment formation start to occur now that's why this is very important because their body is completely different than ours because the developmental pattern of uh, mammals and also other like uh, amphibian reptilia they are totally different than of this arthropods now uh, how their body is segmented li like that and what is the pattern formation during the development we can study by looking at the different stages of development of this arthropods okay so the and also the arthropod development is also different then the meta that then uh, the normal type of development of animal uh, uh, like us that uh, what you can say mammals now arthropods are actually having different types and different uh, levels of development and we are having different levels like say let me put it here so the levels are uh, so from an adult we can form an egg now this egg will mature to larva and this will mature to pupa and then finally and again it will produce an adult and this will again form an egg or produce an egg so this is how uh, the whole uh, system of development uh, is done in arthropods okay now during this developmental stages if we follow the different genes and the genetic expression of the genes we can relate certain genes to certain functionalities now what we are important uh, what we are actually focusing in this video is the modularity modularity means actually modulation modulation now modulation means the module formation it simply means the module formation in this arthropod bodies now the module formation means the body is segmentalized it is segmentized into different parts separated into different parts that is called the module formation the small part will be called a module okay so what we have in the very beginning of our uh, discussion we are having the egg and then egg will start to form modules and it, as it go on it will start to form modules and it will produce the structure like that for example say it determines a polarity polarity means that which region is going to be the anterior side and which is going to be the posterior side or which is going to be the head part which is going to be the thoracic part uh, and the abdominal part this is determined 
during the developmental stages and the modularity will set place modularity means they will start dividing the body into small segments so this segments this each segment are called modules okay now our goal of uh, study is that how these modules are formed and what are the importance of gene expression during this procedure now we have discussed about the bicoid and nanos uh, genes which are producing proteins like bicoid nanos and also different proteins like uh, gap proteins uh, the expression of gap genes and then the pair rule genes homeotic genes now all of those genes produce some factors which are called the transcription factors now the transcription factor in turn will produce another protein factors which are in turn going to help this cell uh, help this egg to achieve this modularity during the development from egg to larva and all of this modulation is going on inside this larva and as the larva matures from uh, the different stages of larval development we call it one uh, instar two instar three instar and so on so the larva is getting matured and this modularity is actually achieved and before this modularity even polarity is achieved Okay, that means this part is going to be head, this part is going to be the uh, and, and, uh, uh, abdominal part, not the opposite. This type of polarity is achieved at the beginning. Now, the mo one important thing is that during this cell division, uh, during the division and also modulation and all these things are going on, the gene that they achieve at the beginning is from their mother. Okay, so the gene, uh, so this pattern formation is again of the maternal origin. So the mother uh, gene is very very important that they have achieve, achieved by this egg because mother uh, laid this egg. After that fertilization set place, uh, nucleus is fused to produce zygote and the nucleus start to divide. But before nucleus start to divide, no modularity actually seen. Now what the experiment suggests us that only after the production of many nuclear division, then only the modularity start to happen. Okay. Now let us look at the process of modularity now there are certain set of genes that are present here we have already discussed two genes bicoid and nanos but now we'll be seeing certain genes which are responsible for the development and the production of these modules inside the larva and those genes are called hox genes now hox genes means they are called the segment polarity type of segment polarity genes which are determining whether they, they tend to form the segment or not now those are called Hox genes. So, what we are having here, if I if we draw the DNA uh, structure here, so if this is the DNA, say here somewhere here, so for for example, say this is a large DNA, somewhere here is the Hox gene. Okay. Okay. So this is the type of homeotic gene. Hox gene is there. Now this gene uh, produces some product. Now this product in turn going to tell the developing uh, embryo of this uh, arthropod or of, of this insect to grow and divide and and produce the modulation okay because this produce certain type of proteins certain proteins will express and those proteins again in turn express another proteins and so it's a cascade of protein interaction cascade of protein production which is going to form this modulation now one such hox gene is uh, very very important during the determination of uh, the body part and during the determination of the region from where uh, the, the different segment will arise is called the UBX gene or ultra bithorax gene which is actually controlling the production of a leg from the body okay now there are certain genes I, I want to mention different hox genes UBX is one type ultra bithorax and also there is another gene ANT or antenna pedia gene now this antenna pedia gene is very important because this antenna pedia gene usually expressed in the thoracic uh, segment of the insect. Usually it expresses in the thoracic segment of the, uh, so it, it is called antenna pedia. This gene usually expresses in the thoracic segment of the insect, thoracic segment of the drosophila in this case. So it expresses somewhere at the middle like this so this is the expression region of antenna pedia and what uh, this type of expression will lead to the generation of leg in thoracic part so that's how you can find the leg in the thoracic region of the drosophila now what will happen if the expression of this antenna pedia changes from this region to somewhere else 
suppose from the middle region towards the abdomen uh, towards the abdominal region or towards the head region then the development of uh, the leg will happen in that region so what is the most important thing during the drosophila modularity or any kind of arthropod modularity is two different things one is the uh, place of development and second thing is the time of development so these two things are playing the most important role in the regulation of different modulation during the drosophila or different arthropod development first is the place of the development and second thing is the time of development so place and time are the key factors in the development of arthropod uh, arthropod embryo now uh, we are going to see this this acting in a moment for example if we take this antenna pedia as a uh, gene as an example so we are uh, looking at this antenna pedia which usually expresses in the thoracic part so the place for the expression of this antenna pedia is the thoracic so this is the place so place and time so i did devote place with p and denote time with t now the place is uh, for this uh, antenna pedia is the thoracic region so it will express in this thoracic region this is the place for the expression and the time of the expression is late fertilization so after fertilization of the egg so this is before fertilization and this is after fertilization stage now this will express only after the fertilization during the development of larva from egg only in that condition so this is the perfect time for the expression of this antenna pedia and the place for expression is thoracic part now if any of these two thing changes during the developmental uh, uh, pattern it will change uh, the the development of this embryo for example say if the place is changed or shifted from the thoracic part and this antenna pedia gene start to express in this posterior part in this abdominal part then what will happen leg will come up from the abdominal segment or simply if and researchers uh, have done many experiments like they took this uh, protein of uh, this uh, antenna pedia gene and they produce a protein in vitro and inject it into the developing embryo at the head region so if we take this antenna pedia and inject it into the head region what it will see it will see in the adult what will happen hey, uh, leg is coming out of head because this antenna pedia is important in the production of leg so it usually produces this legs at this thoracic part right we all know that but now if if we inject it into this head region so it will produce leg from the head region so it never knows that what it needs to do but it the, the important thing which controls the expression of this antenna pedia protein or whatever different genes antenna pedia gene or say ubs ultra bithorax gene all of those genes what they know is that they need to be expressed at a particular time in a particular place now this time and place is tightly regulated during the development of arthropods now if anything happens mistake happens like this if it is shifted to this uh, other locations or if it shifts the timing it will lead to the devastating effect like that horrible effect like that okay this is the important fact so that's why time and place are most important part here now let's focus on a, another example which is the ubx or ultra bithorax a gene now this ultra bithorax genes are playing another important role in the development of different arthropods now we have seen several arthropods like and also we have taken an example like insects now why we are taking insects out of it, this arthropods because there are certain arthropods which are having leg coming out throughout the body like centipede millipede they are we have seen them because uh, their legs are coming out from each and every segment of their body their body are also having this modulation but still their legs are coming out from uh, uh, throughout the body so they don't have the division like head thoracic or abdomen like that legs are coming out literally from every body segment every module of their body but there are some insects so in case of insects especially like uh, drosophila like mosquito and all these things leg only come out from the thoracic part but not from the abdomen you cannot find an insect in which case the legs are coming out from the abdomen legs are only coming out from the thorax uh, or thoracic part so why is that because of the expression of this ubx gene
because this UBX gene is acting as a master gene which regulates the activity of a gene which in turn regulates the development of leg from the body or regular regulate the developmental uh, development of egg from the abdominal segment okay so let us uh, look at it in uh, detail condition so let's take here okay so what is going on in this case is so we are looking at in case of insects and other arthropods so we have seen in case of insects and here we will be seeing other arthropods okay now what are the difference of expression remember the place of expression and the time of expression the time of expression is fixed in this case but the place for the expression is varying and also we are seeing that one gene is interacting with other gene and the effect of interaction can be positive it can be negative now in this case we are going to see a negative effect now here what is happening that throughout the body so what we are looking at this is the throughout this is the whole insect body say this is a whole ar another arthropod body this is the throughout the body part now the body part is divided into three different segments we all know that this is head this is thoracic region this is abdomen head thoracic and abdomen so this is head thoracic and abdomen and okay this is abdomen okay now what will happen in this case of insects there are uh, in case of other type of arthropods and also in case of insects there is a expression of a protein called distal less in abdominal segment so what will happen distal less is the protein so distal less distal less is the protein which is being expressed from the abdominal part both the case both the case from uh, in, in uh, all type of arthropods distal less pro uh, gene is expressed in the, from the abdominal segment now uh, what will happen in case of insects in case of insects there is another protein now this dis distal less uh, gene will produce proteins now those proteins in turn is going to tell this developing embryo to develop it will signal to develop leg in abdomen this is a very important part so this distal less protein will tell this developing embryo to develop legs in the abdomen and it is also telling it in both the case it is telling so leg in abdomen now what will happen so if this distal less is gene is expressed then what will happen will be seen legs coming out from the abdomen too right so legs will be coming out from abdomen and there are proteins we have already discussed called antenna pedia which are e expressed in the thoracic uh, part this antenna pedia uh, protein will develop leg from the thoracic region now we 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 ha we have seen all the insects and all the type of arthropods are having legs in the thoracic region but fewer insects uh, but fewer arthropods are there like millipede centipede they have uh, they have shown to develop leg from their abdominal region too now that is because of the distal less expression but what will happen in case of insects there is an expression of another type of gene which is called this ubx gene remember ubx or ultra bithorax gene now this ubx gene is a master gene which is getting expressed in case of insects only in case of insects uh, in case of other arthropods expression of ubx is not there in case of insects only ubs is getting expressed now the action of ubx is that it will block the activity of distal less in insects so what it does it will block the activity of distal less in insects so that that insect will not develop any leg from the abdomen because for developing legs from the abdomen it must need the expression of distal less gene but here the expression of distal less gene is blocked by this ubx protein so that's why this part is very very important so that's why we have seen insects have not developed any kind of leg from the abdomen uh, region 
but in case of other arthropods there is no expression of ubx and as there is no expression of ubx distal legs can easily express and as a result of distal legs expression we have seen legs coming out from the abdominal segment like millipede centipede and so on so that that is the why the, these things are happening so during the development from the fertilized egg to the larva and the larval maturation we have seen the expression of this antenna pedia gene ubx gene uh, which are all type of homeotic genes or hox genes are important during the development but remember for the activity of ubx the activity of antenna pedia and all those genes are tightly regulated by some other set of genes which are called gap genes and before the gap genes the expression of gap genes are also regulated by a mother or maternal inherited gene and that gene is a very very important and it is of the maternal origin because what we are looking at we are looking at the egg which is laid by the mother right okay so this is a very good example of how genes are interacting during the development of insect to give a rise to a particular property during the development now let us see another example now another example uh, of development and here again we have seen uh, we, we are going to see the place and time playing the key role that in case of uh, cheek and duck hind limb so what we can have so let us uh, divide into two different parts so let us uh, say here is a cheek and here is duck so in both the case what we can find in their hind limb if I draw the structure of the cheek and duck hind limb so what we can find and this is the cheek and this is a duck but in case of cheek and duck there is a difference is that duck hind limb is having this kind of joints between the fingers but in case of cheek there are no joint there so that is the difference between the hind limb of cheek and duck now how we accomplish this fact utilizing the gene expression that is going on during the developmental stages now let us see now what will happen in both the case of chick and duck there are certain genes which are getting ex expressed for which they produce this kind of uh, link between these uh, fingers now the, those gene is called BMP4 now the expression of this BMP4 gene in both the case chick and duck results in the development of results in the development of this kind of link between fingers both the case in case of cheek in case of duck during the development okay during the developmental stage but then what will happen there are certain genes again regulatory gene which will interact with the expression of this BMP4 gene and tell the BMP4 gene to activate or deactivate okay now in this case we have seen the gene the gene is called gremlin G-R-E-M so this gene is called gremlin now this gremlin gene is an inhibitor of BMP4. Now this gremlin gene is activated in this cheek embryo. This activates in cheek embryo but not in the dark embryo. Remember this expression of gremlin is done in the cheek embryo but not in the dark embryo. Both the embryos have the expression of BMP4 which is telling them to produce this kind of uh, joint, uh, uh, joint of uh, joint between the fingers but only in case of cheek embryo the gremlin express which inhibits the action of BMP4 that means it will block the production of this link between their fingers so as a result what will happen during the course of development this chicken hind limb will generate legs like this hind limbs like that without having any joint in case of mature or adult we can see this but in case of duck it remains as it is because in case of duck there is no expression of gremlin only the expression of BMP4 and BMP4 will tell it to produce this kind of joint between fingers okay so this kind of interaction between genes are very very important during the development of different organisms we have seen the development of arthropods and we have seen the importance of this expression of different gene during the development of cheek and duck also okay so again I am telling this modularity fact which is the most important feature of the modularity and also the expression of genes is it is the sequential step by step process and also tightly regulated by different genetic interactions interactions between genes like BMP4 gremlin interaction between uh, between genes like uh, 
here UBX and distal less and also antenna PD and all this gene interaction is playing the important role but the most important part is that expression of a particular gene in a definite place and also a definite time perfect time so perfect timing and also the developmental place is the most important part of the development in any kind of system so if the place is hampered our place is changed and also time is changed it will lead to the dangerous effect into the development and will produce abnormal adults okay so that's it and i hope it will help you thank you